I want to shift to the near crashes we've had, and, and understandably, I'm particularly focused on what happened in Austin. Two weeks ago, there was a near collision uh, on the runway at Austin Bergstrom Airport. Uh, a Southwest flight was taking off from that runway. A FedEx plane was preparing to land. They came incredibly close to crashing. I, millions of Texans fly every year. Uh, I have flown on Southwest flights out of Austin literally hundreds, if not thousands of times. Um, I actually have a video that was created that is a reproduction of what happened. It's a recreation, but it's based on the flight data. So if we could play that video, and I'd like to get your reaction to it. Lighting 170, runway 18 left, clip takeoff, traffic three mile final is a heavy 767. Okay, 170, clip for takeoff, 18 left, copy the traffic, southwest 708. Tower confirm, uh, FedEx 1432 Heavy, clear to land on 18 left. FedEx 1432 Heavy, that is a firm, sir, 18 left, you are clear to land, traffic departure, roger, route to 737. Roger. Southwest 708, confirm on the road. We're on now. Southwest aboard. FedEx is on the go. Southwest 708, Roger, you turn right for Navy. Okay, you get it. 1432, clock maintain 3000, Navy confirmed, heading 080. With turn to 00, 3000, FedEx 1432, heavy. So I know the incident is under investigation. It's 1432 Heavy, Roger, sir. You, you have our apologies. We appreciate your professional with them. You knew how close you came to having Thank a plane you. land on top of you, killing every person on that plane. You would understandably be horrified. It is only through, as I understand it, the heroism of the pilots being alert and seeing what was happening that that tragedy was averted. And yet, my question is, how can this happen? How did air traffic control direct one plane onto the runway to take off and another plane to land and have them both within 100 feet of each other. And what can we do to make sure that doesn't happen again? Well, thank you, Senator Cruz, for the question. Uh, certainly, we are letting its, the investigation play itself out. Uh, having been an airline captain, having been a pilot for more than 42 years and an accident investigator, we'll go where the facts take us. Uh, what is not represented on the video there, it appears to me you know, a clear blue in 22 days, what we'd say in, in pilot jargon, but actually it would, the tower visibility was zero, it was a low, low visibility day. It is not what we would expect to have happen. But when we think about the controls, how we train both our controllers and our pilots, the system works as it's designed to avert what you say could have been a horrific outcome. The pilots saw, uh, the FedEx pilots so saw... Let me just underscore the urgency of yes, preventing sir. that sort of incident from Absolutely. happening again. Yes, sir. 